I'm here with Richard from Rotec. Now, Richard, you've got a very nifty device in your hand, uh, which I want you to tell me all about it. OK. Well, this is a thermal inkjet or TIG printer. It's an, called an iJet. And the nifty thing about it is it's so portable. In fact, it's portable to the point that I've got a battery in a backpack and I could walk anywhere you like to make a print with it. The printer is completely contained in my hand. The whole link delivery system is contained within the cartridge. And when we want to make a print, we simply snap the cartridge into the printer. Yep. And then I can grab a piece of paper like I've got here and I can simply make a print onto my pad of paper. The other thing with this printer being totally self-contained is that there's a user interface which uses this uh, eye wheel device where you can simply press the, on the button, select the label that you want to uh, print, and then go in and select what you're going to do and the information that you want to input. So if you're going to put in a, a date uh, or some variable information, it's all input directly onto the printer. So very easy to use, very convenient, completely clean. So that cartridge is the complete ink delivery system. No mess, no uh, cleaning down, no starting up. You can just turn it on and go. That is really cool. Does it only print on paper, or can you print on, on different um, uh, sort of fabrics? No, the inks have advanced to a point now where we can print on a, a wide variety of materials. So it's not just paper. It's uh, varnish cartons. It can be uh, flexible packaging film. It can even be uh, a blister foil on a, on a, on a blister packer. Um, well, it's very cool. And is it, is it heavy? It looks quite heavy, but no, it's very light. That is really cool. Uh, so where, where, like, who, who is the target audience for this? Who's your target customer? Very varied. I mean, if you look around the show, you'll see some of these um, printers already mounted onto OEM pieces of equipment, uh, flow wrappers and labelers. They like the fact that it's not very heavy. I've only just been to see an OEM who said he likes the fact that when he puts it on his labeler, it doesn't distort the labeler, it doesn't weigh very much, it's very easy to install uh, onto, onto his machine. Fantastic. And have you got anything else that you want to show us that's uh, as cool as that, really? <laughs> I'm sure everything is... Uh, I think I might have to pop one of those in my pocket. They're very cool. Well, while we're looking at TIG and what it can do, um, we use the same technology when we come onto this machine, which we called our RF compliance. This has been designed specifically for the uh, serialization of pharmaceutical packs to meet uh, the falsified medicines directive. And uh, what we're doing here is using exactly the same cartridge in a slightly different printer. But now, as we feed a carton, the carton is printed by the uh, printer. It goes in front of a camera, and the camera takes an image to confirm that the data is correct. And because it's serializing, with each print, it changes this last number, which is the serialization number. And this is the part that's uh, meeting the FMD requirements. So you can see that changing with each pack going past. And again, very high quality of print, uh, OCRB font, which the camera likes to read, and then the data matrix barcode, which contains the same information as uh, is appearing here as the, as the human readable. So it checks what's in the data matrix, it checks it can read the human readable, and it checks that the two match as well. So very much uh, targeted for, uh, for um, data matrix and uh, serialization of pharmaceutical cartons. Extremely impressive piece of kit, that. And you can, I imagine, it, it, that's all then, take, data is all saved somewhere and it's kind of completely um, available for analysis? Yeah, well, that's absolutely right. Um, the data would normally be taken from a customer's server. Um, that, in turn, goes up to the Euro Hub to register the codes that are active within the supply chain. So this uh, will all interface with those systems so that you've got the complete serialization process. Brilliant. Well, um, these are great products. Congratulations on your new ink, the Titch Ink. Is it called the Titch Ink? Titch Ink, yeah. Titch Ink, Titch Ink. That is very yeah. cool as well. Yeah. And thank you very much for chatting to us, Richard. You're very welcome. Thanks very much for stopping by.